Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are finally back on the Honda Civic. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that because we have been away from it for a little while with a little lull in our videos. We uh, worked on a video of the Harley and we did a Subaru video, believe it or not. But today, we are gonna be tackling the exhaust on the Civic. So, when I made the downpipe, I bought like a two and a half inch exhaust kit off of Amazon, which I'll link that down below in this video. Um, it was plenty enough to do the downpipe. And here's the remains. Now, I'm really hoping that that's enough to come up with a full exhaust to go all the way out the back. I did get this DC sports muffler from hybrid racing and I got a flange and some exhaust hangers now I'm really hoping to be able to do this without ordering another flange as well because we've got to go back and go up and around the back axle so I'm hoping I can make the rest of this exhaust all one piece and we can just slide the whole thing out the back. But that's kind of a long shot. Um, I might have to do how it is from factory and make it bolt back there as well, right before the axle. So let me go ahead and show you the end of the downpipe that we're working with if you guys have not seen it already. It is right there. I've got a flex pipe into a flange that we got off of Amazon as well. So um, I'm going to try to get you guys in a good camera angle down low here and I'm just going to go to work on the exhaust.
All right, this is not the end of the video, but it's the end of the night for me. So let me just go ahead and give you guys an update. <coughs> if you catch a glimpse of my tack welds, um, just ignore them. So we just went piece by piece, placed it up there and marked it, came up here and tack welded it. So it's actually going very smooth. I am going to have to, uh, I did go ahead and order another flange for the muffler because it's, there's no way we're going to be able to pull this thing out one way or the other once the muffler's welded on. And we're not welding this thing into the car. So, so yeah, it's, it's going good. Um, we're following the channel in the car. It's just a long straight and then it turns. So now it's going to have to come out and then it's going to have to go up and over the axle and then back to the muffler. So we're probably going to use, we might use that. I'll try to use that scrap piece, but we should have plenty. So um, let's cut to tomorrow. All right, we're back. It's a few days later, I got my Harley video done and uploaded. Uh, but let's just go ahead and jump right back into it. So we have to, I'm sure I just said this, but we gotta now go up over the axle. Um, I did order some more flanges here off of Amazon because we're gonna have to bolt where this thing goes up over the axle. So um, let's just jump right back into it and get her going.
Okay guys, I am honestly not quite sure where I left off because I went ahead and put the camera, get, camera down for a couple of days because this exhaust going up over the axle and then having it bolt and being able to get everything out um, ended up being quite the challenge for me as well as like the hangers on the muffler kept breaking off, getting all the hangers perfect. But I think we are finally finished with it um tacked up that is so i was planning on only having two pieces but i'm gonna have three sorry for the sun super bright but um i ended up having to rework the flange i had the flange bolting here and then all this was one piece but it was impossible to get it over the axle so i reversed it and then it was still impossible to get this big thing out over the axle right there and pull it out of the car. So, last minute decision, what I'm gonna end up doing is, this light's killing me, but hold on. So, this piece is gonna slip over that. You can see I tried to tack weld it, but it just didn't work. Oh, and do not pay any attention to the welds that are on there because First of all, I am not a welder, and second of all, doing this upside down underneath the car, holding one thing and welding with one hand was just a huge challenge for me. I've got all kinds of gaps to fill. This is pretty much the first time I've ever welded. It's stainless. You get the idea. But in the end, it's going to work. So anyway, back on track. That's going to slip over that, and I'm just going to use an exhaust clamp with some like exhaust insulation tape under it to get a real tight seal and that's going to be the best bet for that everything fits up great um i'll show it to you guys when we're done welding but i'm just going to set the set you guys on the tripod and just start going to town on welding and do my best to not burn holes through this thin stainless pipe <laughs> Okay guys, we finally got it all on and it is ready to start. There's the back. I think I'm gonna trim that, um, the outlet cut out in the bumper a little bit more to center it up and just so it doesn't touch it and melt. But let me show you here. So, coming out of the downpipe, let me turn it up. Bolted out of the downpipe. Oh, I do still have to tighten that up. But coming out of the downpipe, coming back, we've got a hanger um, right there using factory hanger locations and all these. Come up here, I've got a slip joint with a clamp, and I put some like insulation tape under it. 
going up there, another hanger right there, and then move to the back. Then we've got a bolted connection there, two hangers on our muffler, and then out the back. So, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Let me go ahead and tighten these flanges up, start her up, and hope she don't sound like a Honda Civic. So, I love how she sounds. Um, other than the ticking up in the front of the engine, I really need to get in there and adjust the valves and just do some maintenance stuff on it. But other than that, I think she sounds fantastic. I am super happy with it. Um, that was a long, not long, but a little more intense of a project than I thought it'd be. However, I mean, it's a, I've never built an exhaust, never done anything close to building an exhaust. So, I mean, I guess, it was a fair job, you know, if I can do it. I know every YouTuber says this, but if I can do it, you guys can do it because I have zero knowledge of exhaust building. So um, I am going to link. Let me turn this off. So like I was saying, I love it. Um, so I am going to link everything down below the whole exhaust kit that I got right off of Amazon um, for I don't know, a little over a hundred bucks. Uh, it fit up great. I mean, it was, it was a perfect amount for the downpipe and the full axle back exhaust. Here's what I have left over. So, oh wait, this, both of those. So not a huge room for error, but I mean, it was super, super simple, super, um, easy to do if you have the right tools you know it welded pretty good um relatively you know i didn't feel any leaks under it it's going to do the job perfectly and i cannot wait well i'm so glad i'm done with this exhaust honestly because i was kind of getting 
bored of it in a way, kind of getting tired of it. I'm ready. I was ready to move on to the fuel system and uh, just routine maintenance to try to get this thing running a hundred percent. But I think before we do that, we got to tear into the truck because I have no brakes. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll do what I can to help answer them. Like I said, I am not an exhaust builder, but I'm super happy with how this came out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I thank you so much for watching it. And I thank you so much for liking and subscribing and commenting if you have done that. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. I will catch you in the next one.